for SOS TechPoint Challenge submission, who judges? Our product is a portal website that by combination of blockchain technology and of blockchain repository, creates a better productive healthcare model to facilitate the consent management and speed up efficient data transfer and allow patients to retain control of the sharing, earn digital rewards while sharing their data among healthcare providers to receive better services from them. Unlike competitors like mHealth apps or health or hospital patient portals, our product gives better, faster service to patients, saving their time and energy for both patients and healthcare providers, and this means providing return of invest, invest, investment to healthcare providers who uses it, while making access to healthcare records easier with high privacy, security, and consent. Hello, we are Healthcare Team 5. Our task was providing better healthcare guidance to patients as a core system of using blockchain technology. Unfortunately, we lost two of our pro members, one of which in the last week, and one never showed up. But besides that, we would love to thank our coaches, Carson and Leo, the judges, thank you guys for taking the time out of your busy lives to vote upon our projects, and most importantly, TechPoint for putting on this awesome project. We've all had a lot of fun, made some new friendships, learned a lot, and who knows, maybe even we can win this thing. One of the biggest issues facing healthcare is sharing information with different healthcare providers. Patients' information takes a long time and it is a very time-consuming process whenever a patient needs to transfer their files and it also is a serious cybersecurity threat when a patient's files are being transferred. This is where health chain comes in. This is what we are trying to solve. Our solution is a combination of blockchain and off-blockchain repository in order to provide high security and privacy to patients for sharing data. So we provided three scenarios. Scenario first, providing healthcare to patient as the core of the system and gives it uh, opportunity to have access to its own data and uh, decide who and with whom share the data. Scenario two is data aggregation for research purposes and uh, giving rewards to patient when sharing its data with other research institutes. And scenario three is connecting different healthcare providers in order to give better healthcare to patients whenever they need that. So who is the market regarding health chain? Well, the market begins with healthcare providers, healthcare professionals, and most importantly, patients. We did an experimental study on the new blockchain-based platform for sharing user profile data that allows users to retain control of the sharing and also earn rewards. The use of healthcare blockchain for health data exchange is expected to contribute the largest market share reaching a value of $1.89 billion by 2025. Now let's dive into the competition. Hospital online patient portals and mHealth applications have poor design and usability. They're also at a serious risk for data breaches. Unlike the competition, we value privacy and the ease of access for our patients. Also, we really, really are keen on data transfer sharing speed, saving time, and energy. These are the most important things for health chain. Now, let's take a look at the business model. Membership subscriptions will start at $5 to $10 a month for patient users. And at the beginning, only select institutes and healthcare providers have access to the patient data by subscribing to the membership service and streams in the multi-chain. However, patients can be rewarded with credits such as cryptocurrency when they share the data with other healthcare providers. Next, let's take a look at sales and marketing. 
Over 40% of healthcare executives see blockchain as a top five priority, and the money spent by global healthcare markets on blockchain is expected to hit 5.61 billion by 2025, according to a report by BIS Research. Some examples of healthcare providers include hospitals, pharmacies, clinical or research institutes, insurance companies. Also, healthcare professionals can benefit from health chain. Some examples that can benefit are doctors, primary care physicians, nurse practitioners, and much more. Patient users are the best for health chain. They can benefit the most. Patients will have the ability to monitor their records regularly. And for example, a patient with cancer can keep all of their extensive records all in one place. This way that they can share it with different healthcare providers, healthcare professionals, or just with their family if they, if they so choose. Also, Health Chain will keep all of these records organized and in one place so that the individual or patient can keep all of their records handy whenever they may need them. We have so far done an experimental study of the new blockchain-based platform for sharing user profile data that allow users to retain control of sharing their data and also receiving rewards. It is very uh, secured and also providing privacy for users through smart contracts. But we are planning to implement our code and the chain with Ethereum service and also evaluating the usability and usefulness of our approach and see how users can trust our system. Another milestone that we are looking for is improving the model by studying users' attitude to data sharing and see what, what is more attractive for users to share their data. Finally, we come to our use of funds. We plan to ask for $100,000, the first $55,000 being used to start up the Ethereum service, which is a de decentralized platform that allows developers to run applications on a custom-built blockchain. Some of the milestones that we plan to hit using this money would be the coding and testing of the system, implementation, and improving the model after user testing. The next $50,000 would be used for marketing and also for sales, and then also to grow the team and improve the quality. Here's a small demo of our web-based portal for medical data management system. So this is the home page for our website and here we have three main links to different pages that the user can access to view medical records, manage and request medical records. Here's a little bit of information about the team and here we talk about our system a little bit. Let me show you the three functionalities of the website. By clicking here, it takes us to the view patient's medical records page and then the patient or the healthcare professional can enter patient ID and our patient name and enter to view the patient's record. If we go back, manage medical records page. Here, there's an option to enter patient's name and patient ID and select whatever the action is needed to be done. For example, add, share, or modify records and then from here, the medical document or any of the document they want to share or edit or modify. And then by pressing enter, it will take to the appropriate site. And then by clicking on the request page, it takes to the request patient medical records page. And then doctors can request uh, documents from patients by entering specific details. Thank you.